out of the Netherlands. McKenna based out of Reno, Nevada, another local rider here, training with Sarah Mullins. McKenna was 10th in this very derby here last year with another ride. This horse was just imported in February, former jumper in Holland, now serving as her junior hunter and big equitation mount. Kind of losing her way a little bit there to the first jump. You saw her kind of pulling a bit with the reins and they get deep with a few swaps there. And again, a little, little bit of a swerving path there to fence two with some lead changes. Well, this horse might be the one with the dressage background. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's some tempy changes in there. <laughs> now, first fence itis is is a big issue that I'm sure many riders come to you with. Mm -hmm. um, I know I always feel better after I've made it over the first jump. Um, how do you combat that? Uh, well, when I work with clients on that, if someone comes to me with yeah. that, you know, really we talk about how they can create a mental focus that's earlier than the first jump. So rather than allowing the first jump to tell you whether you've got what you want and you're in your groove, that you pick a point, I call them checkpoints, that you place, you know, in this round it might be as you come around the wine barrel, like, do you have the canner you want? Do you, you know, whatever it is that they're working on with their horse, they kind of make a point where they're going to achieve those goals. Okay. And so then, then we take the focus off of am I finding the distance you know that you know that that can make you very tense right. and, and worried and feeling like you've already sort of accomplished what you need to do um, so that you have some trust and confidence then as you canter up to the first jump because you've already reached a target rather than allowing the jump to be the, the sole target does that make sense absolutely yeah. great advice I used to have the worst case of first fence itis when I was a junior rider mm. and I would get so caught up in it and so worried mm -hmm. like do I have it and unfortunately McKenna having some trouble here a second refusal coming out of the double that's too bad she'll have one more attempt here Hopefully they can finish. Absolutely. It's it's a tall order for these young kids to come out here at a mm -hmm. venue like this. There you go. Good for her. But for me, I, I that makes perfect sense mm -hmm. because what fixed it for me mm -hmm. was not focusing on the jump, but my pace. Mm -hmm. When I had right. the pace going, then everything was right there. Right. Right. But instead of trying to micromanage that distance to the first fence, right. if I improved my pace, then, you right. know, everything came together. Right. Absolutely. And the same thing happens for people. I think sometimes they feel like they have to have just the right warm up and everything's got to go just so right in order for the round to go. Okay. And, and again, you want to make sure your, your focus is spread 